the number one way to prevent yourself from getting played by a man is the number one way to prevent yourself from getting played is to let his patterns prove his worth. The, all of that extra talking, even all of that stuff you do up front, all of that's going to wash away once you see what those patterns are saying about that man. He could say how much money he can make. He could say how he was raised. He could say what he believes in. He can regurgitate some stuff he read in a book, saw in a video, and all that kind of stuff. But one thing he cannot do is fake those patterns. He cannot fake those patterns. I had a girl ask me that after my last master class. The secrets to attracting alpha males only. And she was just like, you know, she's tired of being hurt. Just like everybody else, right? And I'm going to tell you something. Even if I think back, think back to my younger days, my whole 20s, you know, even when I thought I was good or I thought I had good intentions, and I really did actually. But I still didn't show up the way I knew I, knew I needed to. And I knew other men like this. The patterns, as I look back hindsight now, I look back and I'm like, man, my patterns, even though I knew the right thing, even though I intended the right thing, it was my patterns that were really telling the truth of who I am. Because in certain situations and scenarios, I could show up a certain way, especially if I was on an emotional high, I wasn't triggered, the money was good, I was in a good mood and blah, 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 blah. There was no temptation. There was no nothing. And this, again, this ain't just from me. I can pull from, as your big brother, I can pull from my personal experience. But also, I've been doing this over a decade, talking to men, getting the real raw truth that y'all don't get from my email to my DMs and everything else. And the consistent common denominator is when a man is going to play you, it's always going to reveal in his pattern. See, a lot of y'all look for the red flags up front. And I'm, I'm all for that, by the way. There's a lot of red flags you can see up front. However, there's a more experienced manipulator. There's a more experienced time waster out there. And if you know, like I know, sometimes in that first two months, a person can keep that, that mask on, even six months. But the question I got from the sister that watched my last pre master class was like, man, what if, what if they keep up the act for a year? Like I got played after a year of thinking I saw this guy. And I was like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Did you get played or did you project your idealization on him using his words and his upfront actions as validation to that idealization, that thought, that that mental framework you had of a good man. Did you get played or did you eventually just let his patterns or see that his patterns disproved that he was that framework? Let me break that down. Nine times out of 10, if a dude plays in your face or has his mask fall off, it's not just that he just played again. The thing is you projected onto him your good idea of men, what a man can be, the kind of man that you deserve. And so it happens because we're all subject to confirmation bias. A person will show us and do things that align with that confirmation bias. And then we'll grow our belief based on that. Stick with me. So we grow our belief really based on an idealization. It's the idea of what a man should be. And we have confirming evidence, right? But whenever you let the pattern speak, when you let it be neutral until his pattern speak for him, there is no idealization. You can understand and know what a man can be for you, should be for you, and what you deserve. However, you're going to separate that completely if you say, I don't know nothing about you until I see it become a pattern. I don't, I don't know how you talk to me whenever you're upset. I don't know how you, how you deal with temptation whenever you're out with your boys or you're out of, this, out, out of town. I don't know how transparent you are until you consistently with a pattern come forth with, to me with information that you know I might need to know. And I didn't have to ask you or pry or beg or anything like that. I don't know you until your patterns. Six, so can you call this manipulation? If it's a pattern, it's not going to be manipulation. And here's why I say that. Because we are we are creatures that are of wiring, right? And I'm, I'm trying to see Carlisle, 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 I don't know how to say your name, Miss Royer. We're wired, meaning everything that we do, we're creatures of habit, everything that we do, is typically a result of wiring, especially if it's consistent. However, a, one pattern can be that whenever a person's in an emotional high in a good place, he does the right thing. This is where a lot of women get played. Because the man is in an emotional high whenever he meets you. And I'm talking about best case scenario. We're not talking about the dudes who obviously just want to run you into the ground and hurt you and betray you up front. There's a group of them, right? That's like level one of time waster but then there's level two that comes in and either they're so tight with their game that they can last a, a much longer time before you see their true colors or 
He's one of those that's got the right idea, but he has not developed into the man that can execute in a relationship and show up consistently. If you ever met those guys that seem embattled, meaning they, 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 they have this heart posture, this heart intent that they can communicate, and at times they show, I'm talking about from the bottom of their heart, genuine, sincere, tears in their eyes. But when stuff gets real, you don't see that same energy. Or in certain situations where you need it the most, you don't see that same energy. Or when it really got tested, they fold it. That's the one that's really difficult to spot. And I always say this, man, like, the, 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 your patience to see that man's patterns is going to be your lie detector test for that man. And you see, some people have convinced themselves of a lot. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of guys out here who are, who are truly convinced they're a decent guy. They're a good guy. But they're measuring based on what they've done at some point and only in certain circumstances. It was never a pattern. I've been in before. I know. I'm not talking from a pedestal myself. I'm talk Hopefully, as men, you can watch this as well and understand what I'm saying to be true. Because if you truly want to be a better man, and there's a group of men out here who watch me and they want to be a better man, I know that space and figure out what's the missing piece. The missing piece is the pattern. And see, the pattern is going to be consistent no matter what the weather is, no matter how upset you are, triggered you are. That's the pattern. It's going to be consistent no matter what. It's like this. And I'm going to get a little... I don't know, maybe step on some toes, but I really don't give a damn. It's like, if you are only heterosexual, so long as there's no uh, in-shape or paid-up gay dudes around, fellas, you, you're probably not really heterosexual, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not your pattern. Like, no matter what, I'm heterosexual. If there's not a single woman that I see visibly for years, I'm still heterosexual. And ain't nothing wrong being homosexual. I'm just giving you an example. Like, if you are conditionally heterosexual, you're probably not actually heterosexual. If you bounce between the two, yeah, you're bi bisexual, et cetera, et cetera. All right? So the same thing goes for loyalty. The same thing goes for honesty. The same thing goes for respectful. If you're conditionally respectful to a woman, then you're, you're as your pattern, you are inconsistently respectful. You're, you're at times disrespectful. And so what I'm saying to my sisters out there, the number one way to keep yourself from getting played by a man is to keep your idealization at bay. I, I, I imagine this got to be tough, man. Being a woman and having to both keep a, a positive idea of men enough to be open to a man whenever one that's worth it comes, while also understanding that there are guys out here who are the exact opposite of what you deserve that will play in your face if you're not careful. Like walking that line got to be tough. It's got to be hell. Like, I can't imagine. And I guess I can't imagine because the same thing goes for men. But the number one thing is to be so patient that whatever lust, whatever preconceived notion, whatever infatuation that you have at first, it gets overridden by the patterns. Whenever you think whether or not this is a good man, he's a respectful man, he's compassionate, he communicates well. You don't think to one thing that he did. You don't just hold on to, oh, he did this thing once. You can look at a string of patterns over several months in many situations where over and over and over and over and over again, he communicated the right way. Maybe at times where you would have understood if he didn't. And I'm just giving you one example. When he was busy and he made time for you, but he did it over and over and over and over and over again. Not just once. You see, again, this is where I, I, I try to balance it out and nobody likes that message because, you know, we like emotionally compelling, riled up, sensationalized BS on social media. But I don't care about the numbers. I don't care about going viral. I've done that enough times. I want to give somebody the truth. If you can take this truth. You have to both maintain that understanding that a man can be a great man. You deserve that. While also from the very beginning, keeping your own excitement at bay that this could be it. Until you let his patterns teach you who he truly is. His patterns are not going to lie to you. That's one thing we don't like to say. You see, a lot, a lot of times what a man would do to try to leverage your impatience, your excitement, your optimism is try to give you this whole, I'm certain about what I want. If you're certain about what you want, bro, like you're going to be certain about the timeline it takes to really fortify that in that woman's heart for her to really open up to you. If you're really certain about what you want. If I'm certain that I want uh, to buy a building or, or, or get a building built from the ground up. I'm also certain that it's going to take time for the architecture and the, uh, this and the that and the people and the uh, contractors to get sorted out. I'm also certain that there's a process to this getting done correctly. 
I'm certain about what I want. I'm a grown man. I done been through this, been through that. I ain't got to. You see, a lot of guys will try to uh, uh, fake empathize and sympathize and connect with you or where you're at. Because as a woman, your intuition does make you actually certain. With your intuition, you actually know exactly what you want. And a lot of times a guy will try to speak to that. But as a woman, it's your job to understand we are completely different. Men and women brains are different. Our neurochemistry is different. We're not just different in terms of our genitals. We're going to get into a little bit deeper scientific stuff. I typically go in, go in on that in my master classes and with my mentees. But the neurochemistry of a woman is different from a man. Okay? How our brains work literally is... Man, what the hell is that? Oh, a turmeric on my hands. I got yellow hands. It's different. So you can't project onto him your value system, your train of thought whenever he's saying these things. The immediate impulse for you as a woman is likely going to be, oh, he's, he's, he sees the world just like I do. He feels the way just like I do. And then you go and give him all of this undue credit and benefit of the doubt for everything else. No, as a man, a man is who, who he consistently shows up as. Not what he says and not what he can do once or twice. He is who he consistently shows up as. And that's from the man that has the best intentions and, da, 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 and the man that's the manipulator. The number one way to keep yourself from being played and going for the okie doke is to let that man's patterns speak for him. Marilyn says, how do you know when a man has split personality? One personality loves you so much and the other man may seem to be playing a game. I'm going to tell you, Marilyn. Marilyn, that's one personality of being a bullsh... Uh, uh, let me watch my words. That's one personality of being vague, of being so-so, of being uncertain. That's, that's one personality. What you're seeing is not a split personality. It's one personality of inconsistency. This is exactly what I'm saying. Because sometimes the pattern is the inconsistency of a pattern. Why would you want a man that you can't predict what's going to happen next? What kind of love you're going to get, respect you're going to get, what type of values that you're dealing with? That is a pattern. Mixed signals is a 100% is a fortified, clear signal. That he's all over the place. That he's vague, he's unsure, and you deserve a man that is sure about you. Let me tell you something. When a man really loves you, ain't no doubt, ain't no gray area, ain't no vagueness, ain't no maybe this, maybe that, one day, only if, if it, if it wasn't for, ain't no none of that. When you've got all of these different exceptions and excuses and circumstances that got to play into what kind of man you're going to get out of him, what version of him that's going to come forth, you're in the wrong situation, sis. I ain't, I ain't just yep because I'm, I'm passionate about this because I know the detrimental impact it has on a woman to receive an inconsistent love. And I also know as a man, I've done it right and I've done it wrong. I know how it is as a man looking back in hindsight and saying, damn, all of that time I spent blaming her, thinking this was the problem and that was the problem. And the whole time it was me, the whole time I had the opportunity to receive the safest, most secure version of this woman and therefore get that love from that optimal source of that woman. And I play myself. Like I come to y'all humbly whenever I say what I say, I come to you humbly because I understand what it's like as a man, the painful realization after the fact. Growth is very painful as a man. But it's less painful if you put your pride and ego aside and you listen to somebody who's, listen to somebody who's trying to tell you. And sis, it's a lot less painful if you're willing to also accept what I'm saying Instead of what you've been doing that hasn't worked. And I'm not coming at you. I'm just saying it can work. If you're a good woman that's putting the work on yourself, it will work. If you understand what I'm saying. As men, we are defined by what we consistently do over and over and over again. Whether you're trying to take an ex back. If he ain't consistently over and over and over and over again. Showed you changed behavior in that way that he screwed up before. No. Whether it's a new man. If he's trying to leverage anything about certainty or, you know, we only live once, uh, uh, I'm ready now, anything like that to bypass the fact that his resume is only going to be written or communicated in his consistent action, consistent action, not one off action, not up front in the beginning action. If you always have to look into the past to remember how it used to be in order to even feel compelled to go forward with this man. That's telling you something about what it is that you need being done and fulfilled is inconsistent. I'm going to keep it real for you. I'm going to keep it real with you. You said he never looks in the mirror to reflect his ways and words. Oh, he never he never took a look in the mirror to reflect his ways and words. Yeah, he consists. That was a pattern. His pattern was to look somewhere else. I've had that pattern. A lot of men had that pattern because our egos are fragile and we don't even know it. Let me tell you something. This is something that also 
fools a lot of women that fools us as men. We look at other areas of our life and say, well, I showed up like this, I showed up like that. Therefore, in this area, I must be good. As a woman, you look in his, other areas of his life, his profession, his personal fitness, his kids, his, his money, whatever. And you say, well, because he showed up like this in these areas, he must be. No, it's a completely different ball game when we're dealing with a woman. When it comes to a relationship and how well we can nurture and secure and safeguard and cultivate the best out of you as a woman, do not look at every other area of his life as the absolute to know who you're dealing with. Yes, that can be some type of indicator, but that's got to come second. The first and foremost, th foremost thing is how does he show up with you? If that man is not first and foremost putting you as a priority consistently, but he is doing it whenever he wants sex. He is doing it whenever y'all in a good place. He is doing it whenever his other vibes ain't really checking for him and talking to him. He is doing it whenever his other number one chick on his roster you know, found love somewhere else and got tired of his inconsistency. He's doing it then. Be mindful. I'm just, I, again, I'm, a, I'm your big bro. I'm always keep it G with you. The number one way for those who are just joining in to keep yourself from being played is to stop projecting your idealization of a good man, a real man that you know you're capable of, 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 of attracting and he's capable of being onto him before his patterns prove who he is. And that's going to require patience on you. But let me tell you something. The, the payout is that an alpha male is going to see that in you and know that you've now reserved yourself strictly for him. You know, it's kind of like whenever we used to go to the uh, fair or amusement park and there was a ride that required you to be this tall in order to get on that ride. Alpha males have developed and grown themselves up so much, they're tall enough to reach for a woman who is able to be patient, who has reserved herself, who is not touchable and accessible to anybody who's not willing to go through the right process to earn her. That takes a lot for a woman that's a lover girl, ready for love, worked on herself, etc., etc. But all it really takes is for you to let a man's pattern show who he is. Because them patterns going to weed them out one by one. You ain't got to date 20 dudes at one time either. But an alpha male is going to see you and say, man, that kind of patience that she got, she's not only reserved herself, she's protected herself. More than likely, she's healed herself, cultivated the best version of herself. So that fruit right there is ripe for the earning. That fruit right there is sweet. I got to get that. I got to get it. That's how an alpha male, because alpha male is like, no, I'm going to show and prove. I'm going to show and prove. I don't need the fake. I don't need you to be gone and, you know, your head gone off for one little week of me doing the right thing or nothing like that. I'm about to show and prove how I'm coming over time. One, I'm not impatient or impulsive because as an alpha male, I'm not led by my emotions. I'm led by my principles, my purpose, my mission in life. If my principles, purpose, and mission in life is to do this thing that only a real woman can integrate in and help me get there better, I'm cool with the patience. This is how an alpha male thinks. I, I already talked about this in my master class. The secrets to attracting alpha males only. But I'm going to put you inside the, 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 the mind of an alpha male. Everything we've earned thus far has taken us to, to subscribe to a pattern. Which usually means breaking old habits and forming new ones. And doing it come hell or high water until it becomes second nature. So when you're dealing with a man who's impatient or he's patient so long as he got other women lined up that supplement in the meantime, you're not dealing with an alpha male. Somebody asked for that masterclass link. I put it again. It should be there at the bottom. I don't know if you, if you can see it or if you're on YouTube, wherever you're watching this. It should be there at the bottom, though. But I went in on the mind of an alpha male so you can understand how to separate the alpha male from the beta male, from the pretender, from the fake. If you ask a man or, or you tell a man, hey, that pace that you're trying to move at, whether to be married or to be boyfriend and girlfriend to have sex, ah, there's some other things. And he's mad at that? No. If you pull back from a man who's made you feel unsafe and he's mad at that, blames you? No. An alpha male understands. Everything that I get, I earn and I earn it every day. That's for my physical. I know if I want to stay in shape, I'm pretty, I'm in high shape. I'm all right. But I understand if I take two weeks off playing around, drinking and i don't drink no more but if i drink and and, and and eat nonsense all day and i don't want to go to the gym no more i'm gonna lose everything that i work for it's only a beta male that's going to get mad at you because you hold him to that law that universal law as a man that we earn what we keep yeah we can get it but if we're gonna keep it we got to earn that on a daily basis only a beta male is going to get mad at you for that alpha male is going to say yeah of course you speak in my language 
And that further lets me know that you haven't allowed yourself to be accessible to everybody else because a lot of guys ain't built like that. They have not evolved and developed into that alpha version of themselves. Yeah, you can get access. If you see a link at the bottom, you should see a link at the bottom if you want access to the master class. Well, I broke this down over an hour. I went in on how a growth-oriented and feminine woman or a woman that's looking to be feminine in a relationship can reserve herself to where she's only attracting alpha males. I just put the link. If you see it at the bottom, click there, register, because my master classes don't stay up for long, and this one is absolutely free. You just gotta feel like you worth the time it takes to watch it. It's an hour long, free game. But moral of the story is this. You know, you you can hear everything a man says, and I, and I know some of y'all, you're looking beyond just his looks and personality. You're looking at his life. How does he treat his kids? How does he treat his mom? How does he, let me tell you something. None of that is going to weigh more heavily in terms of an accurate reflection of his character than his patterns with you. His patterns with you take time to reveal. They take situations. They take natural tests. Don't go out here trying to test this dude or whatever. Natural test. The only thing that's going to blind you to this man's true colors is if you let your own heart and you projecting your own values make you colorblind. That's the only thing that's going to blind you to the red flags. But those are just my thoughts. I'm your internet big brother looking out for you per usual. Y'all know I got you. Free game. If anything that I said on this live was helpful or you just found it to be true, share the truth. You ain't got to say it. I said it. But share the truth. Be a vessel of the truth because there's somebody on your timeline right now. They probably going through it just the way you are. Maybe even worse. And they need to hear this message and you could be a blessing to them by hitting that share button. Wherever you see it, hit that share button. So you could be a blessing to somebody else. You know, I don't ever ask for y'all money whenever I do this. I take my time. I'm over here charging the Tesla up. <laughs> but I wanted to give that to whoever might need that message. If it's for you, though, it's probably for somebody else. Share that message. Also, if you want access to the master class, secrets to attracting alpha males only. If you're interested in real alpha males, I'm talking about family man, spiritually grounded, safe and secure emotionally alpha males. If that's what you're into. Do not miss this, this master class because once it comes down, it's coming down for good. It's free. No excuse if you know that you're worth the energy and time it takes to watch.